Hi, this is Gautaman, Certified Labby Associate Developer. Welcome to LVC LED. Today topic is how to use the case structure concepts in LabVIEW and important CLED questions. So why should I go for uh, case structure? So it's like uh, similar to your uh, text based programming languages like if then else case. So you have uh, so many cases, so many function, but at a time you want to execute only one case means you can proceed with the case structure so it is having a two or more sub diagram or cases and uh, it will execute any one case at a time based on the selection input and uh, it is similar to your if then else case which is considerable for uh, text based programming and uh, very important in the case structure in the point of lab view is selected terminal they are only the feeding the input uh, which case to be executed and uh, case selector label it will show the how many cases are present in the ca case structure another one is uh, tunnel so you have uh, been able to connect n number of input as well as n number of output but you have to manage the tunnel properly or else uh, that is going to be a big issue in the uh, compiling that VA also so that also you have to consider these things will be discussed in the question point and uh, whenever if you are uh, not considering any tunnel or there is no function uh, there is no source to provide a value to the indicator please try to deduce default and if unwired that option to be given if you have a given any numeric indicator if you have in included the default and un unwired automatically zero will be displayed if you have considered for a boolean any boolean indicator automatically they will display as a false if you are introducing any string uh, the default value is empty string okay and the, in the point of CLID we have a very three important cases a default case execution cause of broken run and a default value so we'll go one by one the first case is default case execution so in this point as I mentioned in the introduction I am having a three cases so more than uh, one cases uh, more than two cases are possible to execute it so individually they have a own function okay if the string input is square which case the uh, case structure executes uh, before uh, selecting the option please uh, see the name of the labels okay selector labels so here square is available the first s alone is an uppercase but in the given input that is you are typing no uh, that is being in you know, all the letters are in lower case so the case sensitive is important for lab view case also if you have a given uh, different case or uh, not relevant to that or any spelling mistake means automatically they will execute only that increment uh, case alone is going to be executed so let us go with a hands on then you can understand in better way yes here the see the case individually they have an increment operation we have a square then multiply everything is available okay but you have typed only the square everything in a lower case but you have a cases in first letter alone is in a uh, caps okay so you see that what is happening it uh, you have selected square but it is uh, performing only increment operation that is a default operation alone is happening i can make any case is a default now so I will go with this one as a default case you can see while executing so automatically they are putting some different result they are not relevant to this function so make sure whether you are giving a proper name or not okay or else the default case will be occurred right the answer for this one is increment default next one is uh, in the point of CLED is the cause of broken trend what are the sources can provide the broken run uh, that is not at all allowing the VA to run it okay so the first thing is uh, any important uh, thing is available in the case structure any default case is not mentioned or tunnel is not assigned so likewise we can have it uh, as per this question you got a broken arrow since you have a two cases but there is no default cases right if it is a default mean increment comma default like that it will show the statement you not at mention so automatically it will th throw uh, throw in one uh, run arrow okay broken run arrow that we can see in the hands on also see we have a two cases as i mentioned the question 
but there is no default case to avoid such condition so here we can able to see the broken error to avoid such condition make any one case as a default immediately that will be removed okay so option answer for this one is the selector tunnel sorry that is a case structure does not have any default case for this case for this question next one is similar to that uh, cause of broken trend so it is uh, this point is uh, considerable for uh, tunnel okay so you have a increment as a default so why it is still it is showing a some broken trend the reason is the tunnel is not managed properly okay that also i will show in the hands on right i just make a increment as a default as i mentioned in the question now I just go to that square I am deleting the function so there there is no source to uh, provide the value to the output indicator so what should do uh, only the first case alone have been connected with the function they are getting output but the second case is the no 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 source is available so at the time what will happen immediately it will throw an error so missing an assignment to the tunnel is is one of the error okay and uh, just to right click on the tunnel on the square and there is one option is called use default if unwired so automatically when you click this one the broken trend is simply removed what will happen for example i am giving you some square function okay while running this one square function does not have any value but uh, while executing automatically they will provide as zero so this is the reason we are providing uh, default if unwired if we have a given increment that function also will be working properly right so very important tunnel is managed properly or not that we have to check it so the answer for this one is the missing assignment in output tunnel and the third one the final one is uh, the default value as I mentioned in the tunnel so default value here they are using a enum as I mentioned in the introduction point so enum is only for selecting the cases they are not providing any source uh, they are not providing any value to the indicator you just see the indicator that has been on, wired with the shift out and also that uh, shift out value have been connected with the uh, start default case structure so what will happen shift in have been wired with the 8 so by seeing this uh, structure itself you, many people will understand that it's like a loop if the loop is not iterating simply it will pass it uh, pass the value from uh, shift in to shift out so the 8 will be the answer that's why they have a given option b also in the same way but obviously that that is a wrong one you have to consider what will happen uh, whether it is the tunnel is unwired uh, if the function is not available or source is not available default value is going to provide or not so that's very important that we will check it in the hands-on also so I have selected start in the enum so I have a start okay but uh, the stop uh, case also is available they are wired with some value start is available now so you, when you click on this what will happen they won't pass the value to the shift uh, out from shift in simply it will show only the zero alone right so when it is possible to show that uh, shift in value to shift out mean if you are replacing with the for loop at the time alone that is possible you must introduce the conditional terminal similar to your while loop so now i am connecting this term also here now can check it n is not wired that is one of, one of the issue so i just go with the zero so then only it will pass the value to shift out now uh, then you can see here at the time alone it is simply passing the value to the numeric indicator so keep it in mind don't confuse both the concept these are different and uh, that the for loop uh, iteration zero iteration is different here we are using while loop so always default unwired uh, default if unwired case alone is going to be executed the answer for this one is zero okay thank you all please subscribe our channel you can follow us in uh, uh, facebook and uh, instagram thank you all the best.